Hello everybody, this is me, Master44, and today in this video, um, I would just like to talk about what we could expect to see with the new Xbox 360 that is supposed to be unveiled tomorrow at Xbox's event. So, let's get into the video. First of all, supposedly the new Xbox 360 is going to be called the Xbox Infinity, and it is supposed to have a Blu-ray, um, it's supposed to be able to read Blu-ray discs, so that's um, a really nice feature that, of course, the PlayStation 3 always had, but now it's finally coming to the Xbox 360 also. And there are also some rumors that the Xbox could be used as, as a sort of cable box, allowing you to record different shows on your TV and um, different stuff like that. So that will actually be a really nice feature. Now, in terms of specifications, the um, Xbox Infinity should have um, very similar specs to that of the P of the PlayStation 4, which was announced by Sony just a few months ago. So it should have an eight-core, an eight-core processor, an eight-core AMD Jaguar CPU um, with 1.6 gigahertz. And six. Um, well, anyway, if you want all of the specifications, they'll be down in the description. Um, or they might. There might also be a like a a picture over here telling you um, all the specifications. Um, so anyway, just go down in the description. I'm sure I, I'll have them um, written down there. So at this event, we could also expect to see a sort of Xbox video or. Um, Pretty much a device that will allow you to stream music and and videos from the internet, sort of like a dev um, a device similar to the Apple TV, that would pretty much allow you to stream different services such as Netflix and Hulu, and um, this um, device would pretty much be centered around those people who just want to stream media from the internet onto their TV, and um, pretty much. Um, there are many people now that actually buy the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 simply to um, be able to watch um, these services such as Netflix and Hulu on their TV. So it makes sense for Xbox to release a sort of device that is centered around these people and is pretty much centered around um, uh, media consumption. And of course on this device you should... Um, also would be able to play some sort of casual games that you would just be able to download off of the um, Xbox market. Also a thing that we could expect to see at this new at this event is the um, is uh, Connect 2 or a new version of the Connect where um, pretty much just making some minor um, minor enhancements to the current Connect. And um, there also have been some rumors of having a Kinect that is actually built in to the console exe itself. But um, I really don't think that that would be a, a really nice idea because you would actually have to think about where you would have to position your console and position it in a certain, in a certain way that it could um, re-scan your body um, successfully. So um, you're probably just going to get a minor update to the Kinect 2. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, tomorrow, of course, uh, I should be making a um, event recap um, video, just like I did with the Google I/O event. So I'm just going to be um, telling you guys everything that happened at the event. So don't forget to subscribe, and so you can get updates uh, whenever I make a new video. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.